Hey, welcome to another video of Tool Spec. So in this video, we're going to review the Cat Power Station. This is the Cat 1750 amp lithium power station, model number PPSCL3. In this video, we're going to review everything that this power station could do because it has the ability to jumpstart your vehicle as a building air compressor, as a house outlet, two USB port, some LED lights. We're going to look at everything that's including in this box and test it. We'll boost it with the power station. The power station is extremely light compared to the older lead acid battery version, which used to weigh 10 and a half pound. This one here with the lithium battery and all the upgrades only is uh, 4.76 pound. It's also very small and compact, only measuring about eight inch by seven and a quarter inch by also seven and a quarter depth. The things that are including in the box with this unit here is actually a little carrying bag here with the accessories. So like that, you don't lose anything. So in the accessories here, you have first the controller to be able to boost your vehicle with the battery clamps here. You also have two wires here. One of the wire have a USB A port and a USB C port at the other end. You can use that to charge the unit. And the other cable have USB C at both ends. You can also use that to charge the unit. So the first thing you're going to do after you take it out of the box is actually plug it in to charge the unit. Uh, the USB C port is the port to use to charge it. And as soon as you plug it in, the screen turns on and uh, those lights will start flickering to show that it's charging right now. It will stop around 12.4 uh, volt. Uh, the unit, when I first took it out of the box, had 11.4 volt of charge. And this is like that for most of the lithium battery, of course. Uh, they cannot ship them with no charge or they will not charge if they get too low. And they cannot ship them full charge because it would be too dangerous for shipping. You're gonna find six buttons on this unit. So above the logo at the top here, there is your power button to turn on the screen and see the charge of your battery here. And it also tell you the charge and voltage. There's also the button here to turn on your wall plug. You have to activate that and it will show AC. Now your plug is activated. There's also a three button at the top here. This is to control your air compressor because it has a built-in air compressor on the side. So you'll power this up at the beginning. That's telling us that we're on air compressor. You can adjust your, uh, your pressure up or down. And then when you're ready, you press the button again and now it starts and you press it again to stop it and now our sixth button is at the back and this is for the LED light which is pretty bright pretty handy for a power, during a power outage or something like this now let's talk about plugs so there's the plug at the back which is actually for your booster cable or you, to jump start your vehicle uh, this is a EC5, I believe. Uh, they use that for solar panel as well. This is a high resistance, high, uh, high conductive plug, low resistance. It does a good job. It can handle lots of uh, lots of power, especially because this unit will pump a thousand seven hundred and fifty amps. So you need to have really a nice size wire and connection for it. So the other port that you'll have, it's where I already saw the wall plug here. On the side at the bottom here, you have your 
two USB plug. So you have a USB A plug, which is a 15 watt. And just above it, you have the 30 watt plug, which is a USB C. Uh, the USB C plug is the only plug that can charge the battery inside this unit here. So this is uh, what you have to connect to charge it. Now, if you use both plugs together at the same time, uh, this top plug here becomes only 15 watt because it will spread the power into both, uh, both plug instead of just the one. This outlet here is a 200 and watt maximum outlet. You can uh, plug in light, fan, TV, anything like this to it. Now, when you first plug it in, nothing is activated right now. You'll have to press this button here. As soon as you press this button, the LED uh, screen opens and now this uh, sends the power to this. You cannot use any of the other function other than the LED light on it and the same time that you're using this uh, AC outlet. Even though the unit is a modified shine, it can still run a TV, no issue. As you can see, you don't see any lines going through the screen or anything like this. Perfect pictures. Now, if you want to use the USB-C to charge your cell phone, you don't even have to turn on the unit. As soon as you plug in one of the USB port, the screen will turn on automatically without you even having to press the button and your phone is going to start charging. If nothing is happening because you're, uh, you don't have anything plug right now and the unit is on, after a few seconds, I think about 10 seconds, uh, the unit will turn off by itself to conserve the power. But now I know what you really want to test. You want to test how the compressor works and test the boosting ability, right? All right, let's go do that right now. The compressor here comes with a little valve stem here so that uh, you can actually put some hair into a basketball or football or something like this. So this will just screw in and to the end of the hose here, there's some treads in here. And this is also, it's going to screw in into your, uh, your, your valve stem too for your truck or your car. So we just have to push it in and then we'll start the air. Press two times, stir it. <laughs> It's going fairly fast. Now if your vehicle is dead and it won't start, then you can also boost it with this power station. The first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that the unit is turned off and it should be turned off because it turns off automatic if you don't use anything on it. Second thing, we're going to plug ourselves into this plug back here. Now you have to push to make sure that this goes all the way in or it won't work. Now that we're connected all the way in, there is a little LED light on, on the controller here. If it's green, it means that uh, everything is connected and it's ready to boost or ready to start your vehicle. If it's blinking red, you're, it's under a protection mode or uh, overcharging. So if your battery would be completely dead at zero, then it would, wouldn't be good, it would suck too much charge. Or if your battery is too big, and, and it's gonna be solid red if it's connected reverse polarity. So it will, won't let you charge it, and this here won't let you spark 
anything and it won't turn on until this light here is green so as you guys probably already know that red always go into your red terminal wire so we're gonna plug yourself here now my battery here is not dead but this is just to show you how to do this another thing that you're going to look for is most vehicle usually anywhere on the firewall or on the side rail here you should have a ground stud somewhere on this vehicle here which is a 2019 dodge ram the power stud is actually right here and it's holding just uh, the sprayer for the that brings your windshield washer to the top here that clamp is there but this is the stud you can see here there's a wire connected to it and this is a ground wire so we're going to connect to this the trouble with this unit here that i would say is just that the cables are not super long so i'm going to have to move the unit a little bit closer or maybe i can connect to here and the reason why you do not connect your batteries or your power station or anytime you boost a vehicle to the power and ground of your battery and you connect the ground somewhere else it's if for some reason it's spark here uh, that battery usually when you start charging it have lots of uh, fume uh, that are flammable that's going to get created so you want to keep the spark away from your battery so now we're going to connect to here and we're gonna see oh. okay so now we're going to connect in here and our light is green now it just popped out so this is where the light is out but um, yeah so let's see if the reverse polarity would work because the charger when we connect it like this here and we have our green light here Okay, if I can stay, if it can stay green, there's a bit of paint and dirt on it. Okay, now it's green. As you can see, the unit is not turning on right now because I have to activate it. So we're just gonna do the test of the reverse polarity right now. So I might have to bring the unit a little bit closer here. Okay, so I'm going to connect my ground to the power and then we're going to connect this right here. And as you can see, the light is turning red. Now I'm safe because even though the light is red and it's it's not letting any power because this is a controller here, it won't let any power go to those cable here. And then as soon as it's green, if I want it to activate it, then I activate it and then I can jump into my truck and then turn the key to jump start it. Okay, so my tire here is at 35 PSI. Uh, yeah, 34 PSI. So we're going to bring this to 40. So you can adjust up or down. Here, you can go all the way to 120 with this thing. And then you press again air, and then we'll see how long it takes to boost it up to 40, so 6 PSI higher. Okay, so now it's 554. We're gonna start this compressor and see how long it takes. This compressor will run for about five minutes, or 10 minutes, and then, uh, You'll shut down and you'll have, you'll have to let it cool down if it takes more than 10 minutes. Seems to be going pretty fast. Uh, so we're almost up 2 PSI right now. Well, 3 PSI, sorry. Yeah, we're up 3 PSI. And it's been almost a minute. Almost at 40 PSI now. I skipped part of the video. Just so it go faster. Yep, 
All right, so 40 PSI and it's been four minutes and 25 seconds. So it's not too bad. So Costco carries this unit in Canada right now for about $149 Canadian. Um, I think this is a great buy, especially because, you know, how versatile it is from light to, you know, filling up your tires to be able to power up device around your house, charging your cell phone. Like this is like a really good emergency kit unit. Um, now it says in the instruction, if you're going to leave this unit and not use it for a while, uh, make sure that you put it on charge every three to six months to make sure that the battery stays fully charged. A uh, lithium battery that goes too low won't be able to take a charge, even if you're uh, charging it really lightly. So make sure that this is uh, this stays fully charged, ready to go. If you drain it, don't worry about it because, you know, as you're using it, because there's cut off so it doesn't drain too much, I'll still leave enough voltage in there so you can recharge the unit. But this is for a unit that will be left alone that you have to be careful with lithium battery. And it goes for any lithium power tool. All of the battery that are lithium out there do the same thing. So anyway, uh, let me know what's your thought about this unit. Uh, you think you're going to get one? Or do you have any other uh, brand of uh, power station that you're using out there? Um, this would be awesome for camping too, or just to keep as your car as an emergency, right? So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you like this one. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll continue to do some reviews.